right, I have to pack my life into one measly little rucksack. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, what should I take? Oh, I should probably... My room has all my important stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. All the way up. Oh, what's that? What's that sound? Anyway... <gasps> Stevie! Uh, hi! Angel, uh, things are bad. Very bad. What? Poppy's taking a turn for the worst. We're not sure what happened, but the prognosis is bad. What do you mean things are critical? I I only saw her the other day. We we were we were going to get pizza and and everything was fine and we were laughing and having a good time. And we can't be here. Please, run away with me. Run away with you? I can't. Oh, sorry, my phone is ringing. Hello? Baby Angel, this is Detective Carlos. I've huh? sent you a text message with the details. Please, come here as quick as you can. It's crucial. Crucial? Well, what do you mean, crucial? Uh, oh, I see. Uh, Stevie, you, you, I have to go. Please, uh, I will contact you uh, on my phone. I'll let you know what's going on. Please, you have to leave here. It's not safe, okay? I, I, I gotta run. Uh, 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 bye. Uh, sorry. Where am I? <laughs> These are quite unusual surroundings. Ugh, but this is definitely the address. Uh, why would he send me to a derelict building? <laughs> My new home. This is so exciting. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Let's see. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> oh, is that someone there? <laughs> Hi. Uh, hello. Hi, excuse me. Uh, I'm Baby Angel. Uh, Detective Carlos sent me here. He he said this is my new home. Ah, Baby Angel. Good to see you. There's no need to worry. Detective Carlos couldn't make it, so he sent me here. This is your new home. Ah, oh, man, oh man, I'm so tired. I cannot wait to go to bed. <laughs> Ugh. What a day it's been. Baby angel. Oh, Stevie? baby angel. Stevie, is that you? Baby angel. I've got a little present for you. What are you doing you. here? A present? Baby angel. What kind of... Oh, baby angel. Baby Angel, Bye. calm Can't down. Me. I shouldn't have known that to trust you. Stop! Get out of my home! How did you even find me? Baby Angel, <laughs> calm down. You were just having a nightmare. I was? You were just having a nightmare. I'm here for you now. Look, I brought you some candy and flowers. I'm gonna call the police. No, seriously. I'm gonna call the police. What are you doing here, Stevie Jackson? Why did you have a gun? You were, you were gonna kill me. You're telling me it's a nightmare, but I, I don't believe it. Baby Angel, uh, calm, down. calm down. You were just having a nightmare. Uh, D Detective Carlos told me where to find you. Y you know about Detective Carlos? Oh my, okay, you must be telling the truth. I mean, how else would you know about Detective Carlos? Oh, Stevie, I'm so sorry for for going crazy and screaming at you. It was the worst nightmare ever. You you had a really scary gun in and you were shooting me. Why are you here? Is Poppy okay? Huh? Poppy's not good at all. Huh? She fell back into her coma. She appears to have poison in her bloodstream. In her bloodstream? What? I, I, she she came out of her coma. I mean, she was so much better. How could it be? The doctors are very confused. How are you holding up? Are you okay? I've been worried sick about you. Um, I'm holding up okay, I guess. Uh, things are a little tense. This place is, is okay. I've only been here a night or two, but it's already driving me insane. There's no windows. I'm all alone. I'm suspicious of absolutely everybody. And I keep having nightmares that everybody's after me. It's it's not good. And I hope that it will be it will be good one day. But I don't know, Stevie. I mean, it's such weird circumstances. Uh, 
That's Verity. She, she's okay. She's, she's fine to be here. She's been keeping me company. Uh, I told her that she didn't have to, but she's she's been really good to me, and she's just chilling, keeping me company. Cause like I said, it gets a little too much down here. Um. Would you like to stay with me for the night? Oh, you mean I, I can't stay with you, but you, you mean me? You stay with me? I can hold your hand and sing you sweet songs and make some delicious pizza. That's a really sweet thought, and I mean, we'd have so much fun, but like I said, I have Verity for company. <laughs> don't I, Verity? Yep, she sure does, and I don't have any plans to go anywhere. Weren't we planning a girly night tonight, baby angel? Uh-huh, and um, um, besides, I, I don't think baby Max would like it too much if you were staying here. I mean, he, even he doesn't know where I am, and... I just, I would hate to make him upset because he's my boyfriend. And Stevie, I love him so much, okay? And he's, he's not been around much because he doesn't know too much about this whole thing. But he's a good guy and my heart belongs to him. Oh, I forgot about baby Max. I want to meet him. Please. I really want to meet him. What? Seriously? <laughs> I mean, because that's going to go down well, Stevie. I can't think of anything more more awkward than you and Baby Max hanging out. I mean, right there, any boys, Baby Max, and I mean, Verity doesn't even know this story. But no, I, I mean, I suppose you could, but I just don't see what good could come out of it, you know. But then again. You will be in my life for quite a while now because of the whole Poppy thing and you you know the truth with evil little Kelly and how she's trying to ruin my life and I suppose we're a team now and we we need to stick together. Oh, okay, 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 Stevie Jackson. You can meet baby Max, but promise me... I, I'm gonna have to think about it, I'm sorry. Um, do you mind leaving? I'm gonna think about introducing you to Baby Max, uh, and then, and then I'll call you and let you know what I think. All right? Come on, I'll, I'll walk you to the door. <laughs> I just want to avoid all of complications, and yeah, it'll be better if if I think about it properly. Well, I mean, I don't mean to pour my heart and soul in, onto you and tell you how much turmoil I'm in, but. I do really love baby Max, but then he said that we could get married one day and I was so sad that he didn't want to, but I don't know, Stevie's been really sweet and I really care about his sister Poppy. It's just such a complicated situation. I mean, he's a rock star and he, I saved his life and now he's saving mom. I suppose you could understand how a girl can be confused in this scenario. Do you choose the reliable guy or the guy who you're having nightmares about and in your nightmares he's trying to kill you and he's got a sister who's in a coma who appeared to you as an angel? I mean, it's all very odd, right, Verity? I have never read a book like this or seen a movie like this. My heart is... Convinced I belong with Baby Max, but sometimes when Stevie pops up, it skips a beat, and uh, I don't know what to do. Well, what's your advice? Have you ever been in love? Oh, my darling angel, I don't even know where to begin with advice to you. You're still so young. Why are you thinking of marriage? Why are you thinking of, of two boys? You should be out, having fun, being a superhero. There's so much going on in your life. Maybe you need to shrug it off and be carefree. Shrug it off and be carefree. <laughs> I love it, I love it. If only it was so easy, Verity. I mean, it, if only. To be honest, I don't know what to tell you because only you know what is right for you. All I know is you have to believe in yourself and give people a chance. Maybe Max is good to you. You should be good to him too. Stevie carries a lot of drama so unnecessary, you know? Ugh, you're so right. Tell me about it. Um, what about you, Verity? Um, tell me about you. Come on, spill it, sister. Well, I have the greatest love story ever told. But maybe I'll save it for another day. I'm getting tired now, and I might go to sleep. Ah, this cup of tea was lovely. It was so nice to talk to you. Listen, go to bed, count some sheep, 
breathe in and out, and so don't worry too much about boys. What's meant to be will be. And you're still so young. Keep it to your dreams. Have beautiful dreams every night. And who knows, we'll see what the future holds. For now though, you need to get some rest. There's a big day coming up, and you need to be well prepared. You know, I would ask what you mean by a big day, but... <laughs> I'm much too tired. Well, uh, I'm gonna go put the cup of tea away. Thank you so much for chatting to me. You know, it's nice to get to know someone and make a new friend. Uh, even in the midst of this crazy world that I'm in. <laughs> uh, good night, Verity. Sleep tight. Um, you can always share my bed if the couch is too much. All right. <laughs> um, no, la, 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 la. Good night, Verity. I'm off to bed to dream about stuff that is a boy's. <laughs> Sweet dreams.